me. <coughs> okay, guys, you wanted to see what this did over a chronograph. Um, my son's running the camera. Hopefully, this comes out well. This is Big DH2000 and Big DH2000 Junior. For me. How far did it went? It doesn't matter. It didn't see it. I was a little off, probably. Okay, it was a little off, guys. How much, Daddy? That one was only 241 feet per second. 240 feet per second. You guys hear that? Now to go all the way. All the way. He's going it. Let's see if he can. I don't shoot this way very often. Let's see if he can actually make it. How much did that? I, come on, come record it. Come on, come record it. There he is. The thing is, I'm not, I'm not expanding these bands to their full potential uh, because they're, they're cut long on purpose. Because I have a uh, something that's going to happen at East Coast Slingshot Tournament, uh, Southeast Slingshot Tournament. Okay, stop it for now. Okay. Just you know, hit pause. Hit pause. I'll pause it. Yep, I did it. Okay. It's gone. Now we're going to use just a regular slingshot, my shooting one that I hold at, you know, stretch it to its full potential. Yep. 231. 231. That's what I figured. It's between 225 and 250. That one was 260. 260. These are all 12 millimeters, by the way. Bands have warmed up now. The other one could be a lot more if I extend. The thing about precise is you have to take it almost to the full strength. Yeah. To get maximum out of it. Yeah. I held that one longer and the bands had cooled down. 226, everybody. Yeah. I'm on back. Okay. Pause it for now. They don't need to see the ground. I just want to see it. Okay. Yeah, that's the last one. You can see the difference when the bands cool. It dramatically drops, almost 30 feet per second. Okay, pause it. Bye.